This pattern is going to be the hydroscope, the freeform caddis larva pattern. Uh, the materials for this are going to be an olive colored tying thread, weight to sink this fly, any number of various olive or green colored dubbings, ranging to a really bright green in some streams, and then uh, a darker black or brown dubbing for the head on this fly. This can be tied from a size 12 all the way to a size 18. They get they have a, quite a range in size here in our spring creeks in southeast Minnesota. Tie a few turns of weight onto this fly so that it sinks. I like to put it in the center of this pattern because it adds the the bulk in the right spot. Go ahead and start our thread here. Loosely I will uh, wrap around that weight, snug it in place, work my thread back past the hook barb and leave the tag end. We'll need that for our rib here in a minute. Take the dubbing that you choose to use for the body color and start it on the thread. I try to start a little bit at first so that I can get the taper, the look that I want. Add a little bit more and we'll work our way forward. For the head on this fly, um, we use a spikier dubbing, something with um, guard hairs in it so that it gives the appearance of legs. We'll go ahead and wrap our rib around first. This is more of a natural pattern. This can be tied with a, quite a variety of materials. Um, you can use wire for a rib instead of thread. This is more of a natural looking pattern. Clip our thread free. Grab a small amount of our darker black or brown dubbing. Rabbit works well for this because it's got guard hairs in it that are pretty spiky. Trying to crowd your hook eye too much like I'm doing. I'm go ahead and finish this fly. There you go. That is the freeform caddis larva pattern.